So we are going to do the integral of cosine ax cosine bx with respect to x without using integration by parts because we have the product to sum formula to help us out. So let's rewrite this integral. We want cosine ax times cosine bx, and we're going to use this identity. So notice first we have a 1 half coming out to the front, and then we have a cosine of the first input minus the second input, so ax minus bx, and then we add cosine of the first input plus the second input, so ax plus bx dx, just like that. Now if we want to integrate this, we should factor out the x from each of these terms right here. So we get cosine a minus b x, and then cosine a plus b x on this side right here. Now once we're taking the integral, we could use a u substitution on each one of these parts. So we're going to try and do it in our head right here. First we're going to get a 1 half out in the front, and then the integral of cosine is going to give us sine. So we can write the input right here, a minus b times x, and then in order to use the u substitution, we would have to divide by this constant multiple right here. So we get 1 over a minus b. Then we can do the same thing for this second term. We're going to get sine of a plus b times x, and then we divide by this constant, multiple 1 over a plus b. Now all we need to do is distribute this 1 half into both parts of this integral right here. So you get 1 over 2 times a minus b, sine of a minus b x, and then plus 1 over 2 a plus b times sine of a plus b x. And then we're finished with our integral. We can add c, and that is our final answer. So anytime you see an integral where you have the product of two trig functions, especially when the input is different, so you can't use the u substitution, then you want to start looking at those product to some identities so that you can simplify your integral down and integrate just like this.